today I'm showing you a Lua script that I've developed for the Zebo 737 which will enable you to load quickly a predefined set of values into the FMC. What I'm showing you today is likely to be the functionality that will be in the first release. We'll begin by looking at the files that are included in the download. Additional to the script, there is a file containing details of flight that I did from Tampa to Hamilton. You can have as many of these files as you wish as the name contains the departure and destination airport, making it possible for you to prepare several flights in advance or to repeat a previous flight. For the script to be able to find and load the FMC file, it must be named in the format that you see here, which includes the departure ICAO code and the arrival ICAO code at the end of the file name, uh, but just before the .txt, which of course tells Windows that this is a regular text file. So the file is a Windows text file with one line for each piece of data. Each line contains two values. Let's think of the first value of the title of the data, then we have a separator, followed by the data. Looking at this line, this tells the script that the flight number is Whiskey Oscar 715. Let's now take a detailed look at the contents of the file. And so for our flight, the script will load the following into the FMC. The first lines that you see here are called notes, and any in call notes is never loaded into the FMC but I like to record details of my flight in this text file and by doing so it has removed my need for a paper summary that I used to create so that's why you're seeing in lines 1 through to 4 some details on the flight such as the METAR and how much fuel I need to load. So where we have flight number, company route and departure runway they're going to get placed onto the root page of the FMC. Then we move down to the performance init page and I have there my zero fuel weight of 55, reserves 1.8, cost index 35 and the cruise altitude of 350. I've put the landing alt there, um, that's not of course entered into that page on the FMC but I'll show you where that is used later. Then it will move down to the M1 limit page. There's a note there that if you're not using assume temp then Put the word nil in the assume temp uh, data. So outside air temperature, uh, the format of that is just forward slash and then your temperature. So here it's 26 degrees. Using an assume temperature of 60 degrees. And the climb power there you can see is climb one, but that value can be anything from CLB, CLB1, or CLB2. Then down to the takeoff page using a flat 5 departure. Uh, there's just a note there that we press the center of gravity uh, line select key to get that value. Then we've got the V1, R and 2 speeds. And I'll talk about the rest of the file in a moment but I think now we need to do a demonstration of how to load what you've seen so far into the FMC. So we begin by entering the departure ICAO code into line select L1 and the arrival ICAO code into line select R1. From the fly with Lua macros menu we're then going to go ahead and click on Zebo load FMC. After a short while the script then puts the message valid FMC file into the scratch pad. The script then goes through each page of the FMC entering the value from the file as it goes through each page. When it's finished it will select the departures and arrivals page onto the left FMC. What you now need to do is select any SID that you require for your departure. The script then displays the progress page onto the right FMC. So looking at the rest of the file you've probably worked out by now that the script will go ahead and set values on the MCP so we'll take a look at that now. So the script now sets the barometer it sets the speed to the V2 value, the heading, of course, to the heading value, 
and altitude to the MCP out value. It sets nav 1 and nav 2. Then it sets the flight altitude and landing altitude on the overhead panel using the cruise alt from the FMC text file. So in summary I developed this script for my own use however I've chosen to release it to the community. Let me know what you think. If you'd like anything added um, I'm especially interested in learning about more uh, values in the FMC that I might have just um, glossed over here. So yeah uh, please any constructive criticism is welcome and finally just to mention it won't set the panel states so things such as the whether the engines are running whether the doors are open or closed APU running zero fuel weight or fuel that's nothing to do with the script you'll still have to go ahead and set those okay so I thank you very much for viewing and I hope to catch you all later thank you bye bye